This is a little bit too, uh, too bright, isn't it? Okay, oh gosh, oh gosh. Do not fall, do not fall blinds, do not fall. Do not fall. <gasps> nope, not that way. <laughs> Come on, stop, stop, stop. Yes, I fixed it. No, no I didn't. I didn't fix it at all. Everybody. So I'm not wearing any makeup right now because I've decided to do something super duper cool Well, it's cool to me because I just bought this new foundation called Revlon nearly naked and everybody is going crazy over it So I picked it up because I wanted to do a first impressions video where I put it on for the first time I haven't worn it on my face yet But I decided that since most people have probably already done a first impressions video of this that instead I would do a face-off between Revlon Nearly Naked and the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation. This is my favorite foundation friggin' ever, and you guys know that because I just talked about it in my favorites video. So I decided to do half of my face with Laura Mercier and half of, a, half of it with Revlon Nearly Naked and see how they play up against each other over the course of the day. This way you will know how Revlon Nearly Naked holds up to a hugely high-end foundation that costs a lot of money. So I figured it would be super duper helpful for you guys in case you ever wanted to get this one. All right, so I'm gonna start off with the Laura Mercier foundation because I already know how that's gonna feel. And that one is gonna go on the right side of my face. Well, the left side to you guys. the Laura Mercier one and I'm going to apply the Revlon Nearly Naked one. So one thing that I noticed as I was picking it up was that there aren't very many shades yet so that sucks but I bet you they're they're gonna come out with more. Okay so I can already tell this one's lighter than the Laura Mercier one. It feels pretty good. It's weird it feels almost powdery if that's possible and just so you know I'm actually not going to use um, concealer today so that I can see like fully how they hold up against like dark circles and zits and stuff like that. good on my skin. Uh, it has slightly less coverage I think than the Laura Mercier one but that's okay though because it actually feels really okay. Honestly up close you can't even really tell a difference between the two which is awesome. The only thing that's different is that I think the Laura Mercier shade I picked is a little bit more not orange but like a little bit more tan I guess even though it matches my skin perfectly like this one's a little bit lighter. The Revlon Nearly Naked's a little bit lighter. So far they feel, let's see, uh, they feel pretty much the same. I want to say the Revlon Nearly Naked feels like a more lightweight foundation, but honestly, I can't really tell. Maybe I'll be able to tell as the day goes on. All right, so that is my initial reaction. Um, I'm going to do the rest of my makeup. Oh, gosh. I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and um, let you guys know how this holds up for the rest of the day, okay? Cool. What up again, guys? So I finished all my makeup. This is like hours later, and... I can't even explain to you how impressed I am with the nearly naked stuff. It looks like I think the only reason why I think I can tell a difference between the left side of my face and the right side of my face is because I know that there's a difference. I think it's just because I'm wanting to see one. Honestly, it looks exactly the same. Like, and, and the only thing that's different is that this side, like my left side, is slightly lighter, but not even like... It looks exactly the same. This is wonderful because after the Laura Mercier stuff, I'm just gonna keep buying the Revlon Nearly Naked. I'm just saying. But yeah, see guys, this is my face. Do you see a difference anywhere? This is Nearly Naked. This is Laura Mercier. Do you guys see a difference whatsoever? No, I don't feel a difference. So the pros for Revlon Nearly Naked is that it is comparable to a high-end foundation. Um, it feels really light on your skin, like when you touch it. Actually, when I touch the left side of my face versus the right side, the left side feels like there's nothing on my skin. The right side, you can tell I have foundation on. Like, so 
Actually, that is something that it beats Laura Mercier for. It has about medium coverage. It's very blendable and it dries really fast. The cons to this foundation are that it comes in one of these like pour out bottles, which are sometimes kind of messy. It comes in a glass bottle, which I have broken before and it spilled all over everything in my purse. It only comes in a certain amount of shades. And if I had the choice, I would pick a shade darker than this. And I think that's all the cons. Overall, Laura Mercier versus Revlon Nearly Naked is nearly exactly the same. The face-off has been matched. So anyway, I hope you guys really like this video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what other two um, drugstore versus high-end face-offs you want me to have or anything like that, any other face-offs, like hair stuff, anything. Um, and I'll try to do them for you because I think that's it's a really cool idea. Please follow me on Twitter and or Instagram at Brunette Giant. Links will be at the Wonder Bar. And I'll uh, see you guys later. Love you guys. Bye.